The sidechain processes are not delays, chorus, modulation, reverbs. These are channels with compression or EQ on them that are used as a parallel processing. Let's take a look at our sidechain processing. Sidechain A is an analog insert. It's an API 2500. I send all my drums and basses to that and percussion. Sidechain B And that's for all the instruments that are going out to the sides or that sustain like keyboards. Sidechain C, ITB, uh, ITB in my template it indicates that this used to be done with hardware, now it's being done with software, is Universal Audio 1176. So this one I like to add onto any instruments that I... So this tape sidechain is a UAD simulation of the uh, Ampex tape machine. And what's great about this is I can have this in, in varying amounts on the mix and it doesn't have to treat the whole mix. I pretty much run everything through it and then I just push this up as needed. So now this next bunch of side chains are dedicated to drums. So kick and snare drum crush. A DBX160 hitting pretty hard that the kick and snare drum go to. Bass and kick glue. Shadow Hills compressor which helps the low end of the track stay focused and not fight with each other. A uh, second bass and kick glue is Billy Decker bass plugin, which is doing an emulation of the retro stay level or gate stay level, which I used to have, but now I, f I find I can get it happening in the box. And this is great. All of Billy Decker's plugins are great. He's an awesome engineer. And this one, Shells, is mainly used for kick snare toms so the wooden shells of the drums and this took the place of my I had a couple of distressors and I really liked them and I've eventually got this close emulating it then I, I have just a a bass side chain again the Billy Decker one set differently than the other one and it's a little more extreme and I can I can push this up or down in different parts of the songs then I have a sub bass and this is the Brainworks Plugin Alliance subharmonic generate which helps the bass have like a lower octave now we got guitar side chains a pull tech preceded by a, an LA3A which is really sound they sound great on guitars and this plugin's nice and does the job and the Billy Decker guitar plugin which is really cool and, and the pull tech again why have two why have three? Why have any? They're different tonal variations and different levels of push the mix can have. So we can EQ for height, you know, super high end added, makes the mix sound taller, low end makes it seem lower. We can EQ for depth or width with effects. But in order to get the mix to feel like things are moving forward and back with whatever's happening, like interacting with the audio, the only way to really do that is with compression. But you don't want to compress everything to death and lose your dynamics. So side chaining the compression gives you this pulsing kind of feel, but it also gives you various tonal combinations that you can use or not use. And I have so many of them because they're in my template and they're ready to go. So if I don't like one, I just shut it off. If I like it, I use it. I don't touch them, I don't change them. Whatever the source material is will be depending upon if I use it or not. Let's keep moving. Vocal side chain. So here's a perfect example of how I have a few of them. So number one is 1176s, which sound great. Number two is a combination of things. Uh, when I had my multiple distressors, I, um, I like to put one on vocals to help a vocal in the chorus. Or if a singer had, you know, had a wispy voice and the song started to rock a little, this is really based on that. And then these guys help push it and this virtual channel gives it a little bit of saturation. And moving down, the Abbey Road TG plugin. This is a great like saturator for vocals for me. And I've tried it on a mix and I've, you know, and I liked it on the mix, but once again, you have to experiment. Take everything you have. You don't have to have a lot of things, but get to know what you have. You put it on the mix, put it on groups of instruments and see what happens. 
And then I have a gate after this, just in case I, I push it and the noise from the desaturation is too much. Background vocals, uh, Billy Decker Vox plugin sounds great as a sidechain for vocals. And last one is the Fairchild. You can see it's set pretty much for stun, but because it's on a sidechain, I can bring it in as I see fit. And some of these things will also happen in choruses and not happen in verses. So as when we get to the automation, you'll see all that. So let's take a listen now to how the sidechain processing affects the mix. So an interesting thing, you see over here all my markers. I have markers also for viewing. So if you have a session, for instance, like this, here's everything in the session. Okay, and now we just want to look at the side chain. We'll just hit the side chain marker. So, and those are built into my template too. So in my template, I have all my tracks and channels for mix bus, side chain effects. They're all ready to go. So the markers come in with it. So I'm gonna play the same spot in the mix and I'm gonna bypass the side chain that I'm gonna pop them in. This is out. Now I'll put it in. To see your face and 